Amanda Bynes is back to being weird. A pastor that believes in biblical marriage is getting heat on Vanderpump rules, and President Trump has a nickname for Brad Pitt. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics. Does anyone else frequently go down Amanda Bynes wormholes or is it just me? It was only a few years ago, by the way, that she lit herself and her dog on fire in someone's driveway and now she's got a face tat and is engaged to some rando that her parents claim to have never even met. There are so many questions spinning around in my head. Who scribbled that tattoo on her face? Did she pay someone for that or did she do it herself? I need to be decorated. This body needs to be ornamental. I idolized her as a kid. Bring out the dancing lobsters. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I was devastated watching her spiral a few years ago. And I really do hope that she's getting better like she says she is, but like, I don't know, man. Hey everyone, this is Paul, my fiance. What's up? I'm so lucky. Who is this guy? Us Weekly tried to do some digging, but all they could find on him, and I quote, is, sources say he is very goth. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. We're sticking with the wedding theme for this next story, so if you want to swap out your heels for some slippies, now's the time to do it. Get comfortable, honey because we have to talk about the Vanderpump Rules pastor drama. What can go wrong? Even if you've never seen the show, and I'm one of those people, you're gonna find this conservatee steaming, because I definitely did, and we just get each other like that. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So there's this couple on the show, Brittany and Jax, and they got married over the summer. They had picked a Kentucky pastor that was a family friend to officiate their wedding. And last June, BuzzFeed and basically everyone else dug up social media posts from this pastor saying that he believes marriage is between a man and a woman. People freaked out and demanded that Brittany and Jax fire him because they said that's homophobic. See, this is the whole problem. You see this? Do you see what's happening here? You can't have an intelligent conversation with this guy. Who? First of all, no, it's not homophobic to believe in the biblical definition of marriage. Believing in God's word doesn't mean you hate others who live a different lifestyle. It means you disagree with it, but still love the person. So that's a cheap and unfair shot. You gotta stick up for yourself. Anyways, at first, Brittany and Jax were sticking with him as their choice until the heat turned up. Then they fired him and gave in, and then they hired Lance Bass to officiate their wedding. And sink Lance Bass. What? What? I know. So they thought everything was roses, but now it's finally airing on TV and everything is getting brought up again. A lot of people People feel like even though Britney and Jax fired the guy, they waited too long to do it. And even some other people on the show feel the same way, which has viewers wondering if this is all for social clout or if they actually really feel that deeply about this. Yeah, hello, hi, that's called virtue signaling, and conservatives have been bringing attention to this issue forever ago. These are serious accusations being thrown around. And last night in Colorado, President Trump made Twitter light up when he roasted Parasite for winning Best Picture. By the way, how bad were the Academy Awards this year? Did you see it? And the winner is a movie from South Korea. What the hell was that all about? We got enough problems with South Korea, with trade. On top of it, they give them the best movie of the year. Was it good? I don't know. Let's get Gone with the Wind. Can we get like Gone with the Wind back, please? I know you guys think that I'm incapable of calling out the president, but I'm not. He's dead wrong on this. Parasite was amazing, and so is the director. Thank you. I, I will drink until next morning. Thank you. He also finally went after Brad Pitt for his acceptance speech when he called out the president and supported impeachment. Brad had to have known that this was eventually going to happen, right? And then you have Brad Pitt. I was never a big fan of his. He got up and said, little wise guy statement. <laughs> little wise guy. Wise guy as a Brad Pitt nickname is incredible. But are we really not going to talk about the huge missed opportunity he had here to make fun of Brad for ruining it with Jennifer Aniston? This was the prime Trump content we needed. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. It's my birthday. I can cry if I want to. I want that cake, cake, cake. Go shorty. It's your birthday. And you know we don't give a what because it's your birthday. We'll make it like your birthday every day. It's my freaking birthday weekend. I'm turning 27. I have no idea what the heck I'm doing because producer Abigail has concocted some kind of secret mission. <laughs> Kendall Jones, my friend Kendall. Kendall, yell, you're, she's off camera. 
Kendall Jones is here and they've literally advised me to pack a bag for this weekend and I don't know what's happening so you'll have to make sure that you're following me on Instagram at real Alex Clark to like keep up all weekend with my birthday shenanigans I'm so excited I, I seriously have no clue what's going on but the neon is on the girls are in town and it's about to go down if I survive we should be back Monday my actual birthday is Sunday but uh, we'll be back Monday 4 p.m. Eastern 1 p.m. Pacific it's pop culture without the propaganda I'm Alex Clark and it's my birthday Get him up, get him up. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you're always up to date on the latest conservatee. And follow us at our main home on Instagram, at Poplitics.